It be time for DJ Sturf. <laughs> yeah, the X is over his eyes. What? What is up with that? Anyway, uh, we gotta go backstage. It's all the way down. Here. These. I guess these are Montes, aren't they? Yeah, they're yeah, they're definitely Montes. They form kind of like rabbit ears on the on the gator. Everything's a rabbit in this series. That's oh man, there's so many rabbits. Anyway, yeah, I thought this I thought this was Freddy. Like I thought he was getting chomps, but that is not the case. This is just basically a monument. It's a Monty monument. Um, but yeah, that's definitely Monty's legs. That's not Freddy. So I was mistaken in the last video. I apologize. And uh, let's start the video. Oh man. Hey, what's up, everyone? DJ Sturf here. Y'all ready to go to chapter four? All right, we're going through this extended walkthrough of Ruin, the DLC on top of Security Breach. So I hope you enjoyed the DLC if you've gone through it already. Uh, we're going through the cupcake shop now and a side quest that's within the cupcake shop in a back room. So we'll get to that. Uh, we're also going to see an AR inhibitor. The AR inhibitor is a new item, but we'll see that all the way through chapter eight. So it's, it's gonna be a thing to get used to. We have a bunch of trash here. It probably smells horrible, a bunch of rotten pizza, all that. And over here, I don't know who's bagging up all the trash and not taking it out. Like that's just bad practice. <laughs> I guess like it's more sanitary, but still, <laughs> oh man. We got a few Chica trash bins around some probably i guess still qualifying as cupcakes those are pretty big almost like muffin like but probably raspberries on top raspberry frosted cupcake muffin things i think that's the official name <laughs> um, there's some smashed and like smushed cupcake pinatas as well but we're over here we're gonna go through this garage door but first here we are I'm gonna see a familiar friend here or is it a friend and there might you might see something funny during this cutscene too at the end. We'll see. Ow, ow, ow! I got kicked out of the Vanny network. You said you got rid of that rabbit thing. What happened? Looks like the entity has bypassed my signal jammer and activated one of its own. That device down there is an AR inhibitor. You will be unable to access the Vanny network until it is deactivated. So we're basically on the rooftop of the area we're going to go deactivate this in. All right, <laughs> we're gonna roll up this garage door. Here's the conduit puzzle. Let's go. All right, right on the edge, that's pretty cool. All right, I'm waiting for Cassie's prompt. I guess I gotta wait a little bit now. Used to be able to, to pop that from here. All right, ready? Oh, definitely not Carl Lewis over here with a long jump. There's Chica off of that conveyor belt. <laughs> not a good landing. <laughs> not a good landing. Unless this were a diving competition and there were water underneath. But fortunately, there's a little bit of trash here to break the fall. That probably still didn't feel very good, but we're still okay. Otherwise, Cassie would probably have had the wind knocked out of her, or worse. Like Mike Tyson, I broke my back. What do you mean? Spinal. Oh, man. So <laughs> here we are. Let's go. Let's admire the scenery along the way. We see Chico over here having a little trouble. But not for too long. Now she's out, walking forward. I will give you one bit of caution. The hitboxes on Chica and Roxy are pretty ridiculously large, so be very patient. Um, I I don't know. I'm I wasn't a fan of those, but um, I definitely thought they could be revised. Anyway, here we are. I'm not going to. You know, cause the hitbox to fire on this run. All right, I'm just gonna wait until she's over here. Then you can see what the battery is that acid. Stuff? Your battery acid? 
There's no way I'm getting your back. But you can do this. <laughs> and you're fine. <laughs> Chica's arm, though. Man. Her arm went all scrap trap. All right. I'm going to send you over here. Are you there? There's no secret camera on this one. So I'm gonna hop around in the trash just for a little bit. And I'm gonna go to the left. The left's gonna have a secret little thing. This is our side quest, all right? And look at, look at all this, the shininess. That's pretty cool. It's not fully reflective. Most stuff in the game is just not really very reflective. Uh, I don't know if that's to say of an optimization or what, but yeah, it's kind of a tattered mirror for sure. All right, so we're gonna go to this back room. Fortunately, we can't hop on here to jump over anymore. Used to be able to just like jump through the ceiling and into like all sorts of trouble. All right, so that is better. Hey, Chica. Hey, Chica helmet. Chica plush. Fazbear Creamery, all right. Chica Mask. More balloons. One Chica Plush on top of Chica's Feeding Frenzy. Pretty cool. Let's eat. So this is our side quest. This is Chica's Feeding Frenzy. This game also came a very long way, and especially with the, the weapon hitboxes. I would say they're still not 100% perfect, but it's a whole lot better. But I'll show you just what I prioritize, you know. We're going through wave 20. Four bosses, 5, 10, and 5, 10 15, and 20 have those bosses. So the boss waves, there are no extra enemies. You just fight the boss. One nice situation is if you get a cupcake, which gives you invincibility, you can just hold that and let it roam around and you collect it when the boss appears. And then you you do have to like, like hit the boss and then go back out, hit the boss, hit the boss, hit the boss. But you can, you can tear the boss up like crazy that way. Not very common for that to happen because the cupcakes are pretty rare. But they give you invincibility in this, so they are worth collecting. And you get some extra balloons, just extra points. All right, so wave five, we're gonna have boss number one. Um, one other trick, you have the boost button. So you can boost through a lot of projectiles and also, like there, I boosted through and I didn't take damage. But you right click for that. Over there. So if you want to get rid of some projectiles that are in your way, you can just do, do something like this. Like that. And then just keep aiming for the uh, the big sphere thing. <laughs> Alright. My favorite weapon here, the pink soda, the pink soda spray. Um so, MapBot does exist in this minigame. Um, each one of those gives you extra ammo. And you can max out at 50 of the pink soda spray. I was kind of hoping there would be a two digit max on that because of that, because you can't go over 50. But if you want 20 more each time, pick one of those up. Um, boosting also gives you speed, so if you need to get out of a situation, you can just boost through it. You can't infinitely boost, but there, so there's a cooldown on it. But it is very useful. And I'm, I'm starting to get a little low, so I'm going to go back to the uh, pizza slice. And since I have active ammo, I think the odds are a little bit higher. Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it tends to give me more ammo for the pink soda spray. If I've unlocked the pink soda spray via the boss, and if I have a little bit of ammo. So I'm actually at 36, I'm going to go back to it. Another thing, you can boost through the orange triangles. So whatever those those like ships are or whatever. I got 40 on the way. That's good. Come on. 
your biggest threat is going to be a buildup of um, security guards, though. But the other thing, too, if you boost through the RN ships, you don't get any points for that. So if you want a pile of points, which, I mean, there's no real... I guess you could have a score attack category or something, but you might see a little bit of randomness. Hey, Mapbot. Um, the pink spray sometimes responds very oddly to Mapbot. Sometimes just throws them very far across the level without doing much. So you don't actually feed Mapbot, but... Yeah, all right, I'm boss, so I'm gonna go back to the pizza slice. There, I'm getting rid of those. Via the boost. Be a little more sloppy than I'm, I'm being right now. Like I'm, I'm just kind of playing a little, a little on the safe side and all that. Also, if your health gets low, one strategy is just take a few more hits, and you'll get one of those plus signs. All right, now we get the sausage weapon. The sausage weapon was really horrible. Like it just didn't really hit before, but now it's actually really awesome. And if you're smart about your usage. You can uh, extend its life and all that, but I mean, you have 500 shots of it. So it went from zero to hero very quickly. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Be a little more careful than that. <laughs> As I do that. All right, all right, all right. I'm going back to the soda spray. There we go. I just feel more comfortable with the soda spray, you know? I just didn't even hit that one at all. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's a pretty cool little mini game. This was in the original base game as a cabinet, but it wasn't playable. So I don't know when plans changed or if they've changed or whatever, but uh, it wasn't in the regular game. There was also a bowling mini game that we haven't seen yet, even in Ruin. That was in the base game that was removed content wise. Which gives you another reason to. You know, it might suggest that there will, will be future installments. And again, I, I don't know. That's just. I'm being 100% honest on that. Just. I don't know. But it would make sense if there were. Just my opinion. Oh yeah, I need to go back to the uh, soda spray. Like that. Good. There, I just I just boosted through the um, the orange ship there. Hey map bot, hey map bot. That actually is map bot in the assets, it's not um, not mask bot. So when Ray Ray McCaffrey put in the uh, in the tweet that there's no map bot. I mean, he's he's just trolling. He was trolling. And then if you look at mask bot as well, it's kind of a slightly mangled um, map bot. I right, need to be a little more careful here, otherwise I'm gonna fall flat on my face on this one. All right, get that bot. So one strategy there is you take a few more hits and then you have a higher chance to get that plus sign to get health back. But I don't, I don't really need it. Oh, that was dumb. And you don't want to run into the, uh, the boss either, the boss hits you with some pretty heavy damage once you do that. Unless you have the cupcake, which is the invincibility. So we haven't seen a cupcake. I think maybe one out of every two runs I've seen a cupcake, maybe on average. So I wouldn't be surprised not to see a cupcake this run. It's kind of game breaking, so I'm, I'm not really torn up about that at all. Um, this pizza thing is like some radius. I don't like that at all, so I'm not even gonna use it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna use it. Well, maybe I should actually show you here. I'm gonna use it, there. See that? So if you get a big crowd of, especially the little uh, party people over there, 
yeah, you <laughs> that's one way to use it, but I mean, why? Let's use the soda spray or or the sausage. All right, let's go down to the sausage. Let's go. Going Rambo on this one. Oh man. Let's take let's take a few hits. There we go, and then we'll hopefully get a plus health option. Come on, get me. There we go. All right, give me some plus signs now. Give me some. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Well, I should have got more. <laughs> I should have waited. That's fine. All right, pink soda spray. So boost is right click. You see the controls. Yeah, you can't see the controls. Good. I'm not over them. All right, wave 18. All right, go real this time. Let's go. I would be doing myself a favor to get rid of the security guards as fast as possible. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> oh, Y'all thought I was gonna die? I thought I was gonna die. All right, let's go. Let's go down to the sausage. There we go. Get rid of the clutter. Okay. And their projectiles neutralize your shots, so you just have to be cognizant. You have to be cognizant of that. I have so many of these. This is great. Oh, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> Blind spot. Uh, Matt Bob had a bad history of, and a bad habit of getting caught behind the uh, borders of the area, so you couldn't actually hit Matt Bot at all. It was kind of a pain for a while. For all the marbles, no cupcakes though. Ooh, going crazy, huh? No, that was dumb. I'll have to go through um, Chica's Feeding Frenzy and get a better, like a cleaner run. That'd be kind of cool. This, this one was a little bit sloppy. <laughs> a complete tohu failure on this one. <laughs> with the cupcake too, the balloons. I recommend boosting if you want to get as many as you can. So. Come on. One, two, and three! Yay! Go Chica! Go Chica! <laughs> Alright, so we get a special item for that. You'll see what it is. I'm sure you've probably seen it already. You can tell me what it is in the comments before this shows up. Uh-oh. What do we have? Ooh. It 
looks like a speaker box. Wow. That's pretty cool. All right. I may be back at some point for the start of the episode again. <laughs> All right. So now we go back. One thing here that I would recommend when you turn this corner here, face this way and don't turn back. Because um, the cutscene flips you forward and then puts you back in the state where you were at. So if you're looking back at Chica, it's going to turn you back around and then your, in your instinct is going to be to go forward, but you're going to be running right into Chica. So I would just do this, just go face forward. There, now it's going to push you this way. All right. Yeah. <laughs> poor Chica. Actually, not not that poor Chica, but we can't go into AR mode right now. But we can turn off this inhibitor. Finally. There we go. Bet I can use the mask again. So I'm gonna turn this one off first, and I'm gonna go collect the green box here. There's an item here. All right. I'm going to go out of the mask, so I'm just kind of appeasing the anger of Nexus Rabbit, or the entity. You used to be able to mask warp through this, but you can't anymore. There are still some areas where you can, so hopefully those will get fixed with patches. I think they probably should. That's definitely a thing. Here, you used to just walk through this and it just clipped all over the place. Now it's it's good. You have ATMs in the corner. You can hear. This is kind of your hint that there's something else, right? You have the uh, arcade noise. All right. So we've got that one, that one, and we got one more. All right. Look at that. Big old cupcake. About to go through that. Oh, yeah. This is basically peak Five Nights at Freddy's right here. Like this, <laughs> this is my favorite poster in the game by far. This is just, this is so goofy. All right, um, you got some plates over here and all that. Conveyor belt, a trash can, got the fire extinguisher on the wall. I don't know why I'm even mentioning a fire extinguisher. I guess if you want to put out the flames for some reason here. <laughs> oh man, here we go. Turn off this node. There you go. I like this one. And I'm going to wait a little bit. You notice that some of the wet floor bots will turn away as if they were kind of hiding, like not wanting to be deactivated. I kind of wonder about that, you know? Like you don't want to be discovered, you don't want to be deactivated. So what's really going on with the deactivation? Because right now, like you're not seeing the eyes until go here. Let's go back into normal mode, and you'll see the same thing happen in the real world. Um, so the, there's a puzzle over here. So one curiosity. What do you think Mexis stands for? M-X-E-S. I mean, it could be, it could be several things. Uh, the M could be... The M could be... Multiverse, uh, multi-dimensional, I don't even know. Um, and then you have the X, could be extended, endoskeleton security, I don't know. But it'd be interesting to see some of the acronyms y'all think of. Some of these posters are really cool too. Let's eat with Chica Chicken. You know, there was one build that, like, all these posters had basically no detail at all. That was on ultra settings and it just had, like, no detail. That was fixed, I think it was the very next build. Like, that was... It's just a big blur, but those, those posters are really cool. Alright. Sorry, Lazarus. Alright, another Chica trash can. Another Chica poster. Alright, using the whisk. Let's go. Cool chef's hat, though. And a cool bow. Multi-talented. She does maser size. She eats and she cooks. All right, let's go. Good job, technician. You have gained access to the Upper East server room. Let's take a let's take a tour through this. You should be safe from the entity here. So you notice here the lobby. 
don't worry about that bad entity in here. Seek comfort knowing they won't be able to track you down, at least for now. All right. That's ominous. The bad entity in here. All right. Um, so you remember at the start where the uh, the room where you get the fizzy faz and all that, there was that broken Freddy, all that. You see this also in the ride into the catwalks. The basically decapitated Freddy with that same type of thing. You will see this again as well, just very soon. Also, you have here the electrical systems for the daycare. Moon, sun, but they're separate here. Interesting. Let's see Gator Golf. There's nothing there. Daycare. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. They're all over here. So these ones are presumably off. Monty Golf. And one interesting thing, too. Note this. It says Gator Golf. And then Monty Golf. What do you think about that? By deactivating the parent nodes, you have restored power to the east side of the Mega Pizza Plex. All right, we got Cupcake, the Cupcake Shop. If you deactivate all the parent security nodes in the west, you should be able to reach your friend under the Roxy Raceway. Yes. Yeah, which one was this one? I guess I can't see that one. And over here. Yeah. There, Cupcake. So you have some that look active, some that look deactivated too. This leads to nowhere over here. Um, this <laughs> there used to be a slight gap over here too. Um, also used to be able to jump over some of these up front and then go to crazy places around the area. So much improved area for sure. And it just looks cool. Like, the whole thing looks really cool. Like, look at this. It used to be able to jump over here, and then there was, like, an invisible threshold over a lot of this, but not all of it. And same thing over here. All right. Next room. Used to be able to jump up on top of here, and then jump over and out of the world. This seems fairly well guarded here. Let me know your thoughts if you find a way over that. It used to be traversable or <laughs> fallable. <laughs> and there's really not much out here. You see this side right here, except for sightseeing these objects, you know? You're going to need to remember these eventually, but you can find them on the cameras, the camera anomalies. We'll get there. And speaking of looking cool, some of the, some of the scenes in this game, or I should say the DLC, are very memorable visually. There's some of that in the base game, but especially, there are a few especially. And I guess the two I'm thinking of right away are the waterfalls. So this is one of them. But there's one later. All right. Sorry, Cindy. Deactivated. But you notice here we have the uh, decapitated Freddy. We got a separate like leg and where's the mic? Yeah. It's like Monty's dream. All right, we collected that already. We're good. And that's this room. And just for the tour, you can still sightsee over here, but it's just kind of a, an expanse. used to be able to jump on top of here and over there. I just completely skipped this, so anyway. This one's a pretty easy puzzle. We're just, uh, gonna go 5432. And again, with this camera anomaly puzzle, early on, you could just click, hit E, click, hit E, click, hit E, and click, hit E. You can still um, shorten the last one by hitting escape, which I just did. But, um, yeah, that used to be a very quick puzzle. <laughs> like, very, very quick. And now you got to do one at a time. So if you find a way around it, you've hit the jackpot on saving a little bit of time. So this is this room right here. I call it the Broken Freddy Room, but at the same time, we've seen that in several spots now. All right. This one is the tricky one. That rabbit thing's back again. You said it was safe here. How do you know, Cassie? You haven't seen through that. I said should be safe. It's not safe, and I am not wrong. Hey. 
you're, you've gotten big all of a sudden. We're going to two, three, four. <laughs> big old menacing rabbit over here. All right, let's go, let's go. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> that's actually really improved, too. Can you still... Hey, and that's fixed, too. Okay, so... You used to be able to back away, and right before you get to the door, the rabbit disappears, and then there's there's no, like, threat or static or anything like that, like, instantly. Plus, after you went through the door, you could go up against this wall, and you'd get the noise every time you get close to the wall, so that's actually fixed, too. This is looking good. So, they, yeah, they, they've, they've fixed a lot even since the last time I went through a build. So, props to Steel Wool. And that's the thing. Like, it's a big team effort. So, it's not just me coming in and trying to find things as fast as possible and finding a bunch of things. They found a bunch of things, too. They were developing things all along the way. And, I mean, the, the greatest, um, greatest piece of work was the development itself. So, without development, there's no QA. So anyway, I think I played a good part, but I mean, I'm, I'm by no means saying, like I've, I've seen a few comments or whatever, like, it sounds like DJ Sturf carry Ruin, I'm like, I did my part, but I mean, a lot of people put in a lot of work on this, so I'm not trying to take too much credit at all. All right, here we go. I also came up with 0% of the story. That is not my realm on this series. All right, that's cool. You can't go through there anymore, or at least hope not. I think if you actually put your mask on here, you can get up on one of these stacks. You can. Okay. So, you can still kind of play around a little bit there. Um, this one has been a problem area. <laughs> I need to make sure I save the game before I try this, though. Um, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to do that in this run. Um, you, you still can find a way, if you get it just right, to skip the salon entirely and go to log rides. That's one thing. It's a lot harder to do right now, but you can still do it. Um, you get that noise. Ooh, scary. Ominous. Yeah, all right. A little gap in the floor there. The salon, we're here. Oh man, so now we're in chapter five. So that's that was chapter four. Let's look at the inventory. We're done with chapter four. Um, here, we have comic page 7. We have the disassembled Vanny ending drawn by Gregory. Gregory should be an artist when he grows up. All right. Maybe a hacker, maybe a professional game player. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know. So Gregory drew all of these. We have three of the endings so far. So the cardboard box slash escape ending, the van slash car battery ending, and the disassembled Vanny ending. And those three, we have the drawings here. Did Gregory foresee that? I think that's possible. Um, did we see that elsewhere in the series where someone sees drawings or where someone makes drawings and then that kind of happens, you know, it foretells. It's a prophetic drawing, basically. Not a pathetic drawing, not necessarily unless the drawing's bad, but, <laughs> but a prophetic drawing, something, seeing something in the future there. Um, anyway, we have uh, Chica's voice box. I guess you could put your comments on that in the chat. Or the chat, the other comments. Chica's voice box here. Nice part is, if you use Chica's voice box, we'll use that in this chapter here in the salon. Um, you do keep it in your inventory. There are items that you do get later on in the game that you have to recollect when you use them on an old friend. And uh, yeah, we got this too, the AR Chica lunchbox. There are three more lunchboxes. We're going to see one interesting one especially. But this one right here, my dad used to collect these, so that's the precursor to one one in particular that I, I want to point out as well that uh, anyway um ar foxy mask ahoy and we have that shout out to chris mcculloch also he did the voice work for the r it, it'd be dj Sturf that that at the start of the uh the start of most of these videos lately um i had him do several lines as well so i can mix those in i just have been quite busy and haven't had time to do that so uh, there is more variety as well but great voice actor Chris McCulloch um, all right what else did we get we got the AR Foxy mask and we got the AR Golden Freddy plush reminds me of the one in the lobby <laughs> what the one with the spray paint in front of in front of it 
So one, two, three, four, and five, yeah. Oh well, yeah, we should go over the wet floor bots as well. I don't think I did this for chapter three. So just really quickly, the ones in the catwalks, there's one in that Monty backstage monument, the Monty monument. That one, there's a wet floor bot to the front left of it. Then the second one is after your fourth child node sequentially, you might miss one along the way. So it might not be the fourth one you deactivate, but after that, there's a gap that you jump and then there's an item box that you collect you uh, go under the stairs underneath that track controller and then to the right there is a wet floor bot all right so that's two and then the third one after you ride out of the catwalks and the gator gondola you go to the maintenance room you hop out go down the stairs there's an office there you have a wet floor bot in there so that's three all right so those are the three in the catwalks there are four in the cupcake shop but i should say also that the first room the conveyor room of the cupcake shop is basically the end of chapter three. So um, technically the end of chapter three there, but it's part of the initial cupcake shop entryway or whatever, before you go on that conveyor down to that trash area with the inhibitor cutscene and all that. Um, but there is a wet floor bot in the middle of the lower floor of the conveyor room of the cupcake shop. And yeah, it's that one's actually one of the harder ones to see because you can just keep on going forward and, and not look around enough. And, and there's one kind of nestled away in that alcove so that's that's one i'll count that as the cupcake shop even though it's kind of the end of chapter three but it's cupcake shop ish uh, the second one you're going to um go to the you're going to go to the, the bathroom near the uh the parent node uh the bunny head basically the parent node where you do the connection puzzle or the hacking puzzle there's that bathroom there and that one has a wet floor bot as well as one of the child nodes, as well as one of the item boxes. So that's like a hot spot for collectibles right there. So that's another one, another one. So that's two. Three is after you exit the cupcake shop, after you finish the connection puzzle, there's kind of like this little extra aisle in between where you go, you can go around and just miss it. But that one's actually fairly easy to spot. I think you just look down that aisle and there's a wet floor bot in the middle of that aisle. That's three, and then the fourth one is in the server room. You see that waterfall, that pretty waterfall that I pointed out in the server room. That thing looks really cool. I like the server room. Where was that in the initial game? <laughs> We've seen some server racks and all that, so there are rooms with server racks and all that. Uh, but man, not, not anything like this. This was, this was different. This was different, and this was an AR mode, so yeah, interesting, but very expansive empty vast but then you have a bunch of servers so i don't know interesting but there's one underneath you go past that waterfall so those are your four wet floor bots in the cupcake shop and server room and that should bring us to 16 right now so yeah all right another thing to think about other than chica's voice box what does mxes stand for you can put your suggestions in the comments and yeah i mean it'd be funny if it were something like Mike Xylophone Edgar Schmidt or something like that but I don't think it's that of course who built Mexus I mean we have some candidates for sure interesting there is an easter egg on the Faz Ranch but I don't think you would see that normally in the game I don't think there's a spot where you actually see that just a little easter egg who built Mexus and for what purpose it's interesting that if it were Cassidy's or Cassie's dad it's it's a risk to Cassie like Cassie can get attacked and jump scared, presumably game over to slash killed by the animatronics. So um, that's bad news bears on that one. It's like, why build something that's going to kill your daughter? Um, I guess that's probably not really a too, too profound a question given the rest of the series, right? But uh, anyway, uh, we also see forklifts in several spots. So could there be a significance to the forklifts? Uh, sometimes there is a plushie sitting in the driver's seat, so it's just kind of funny looking. But um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> and also, like, the, the objectives. Oh, my goodness. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Let's go. Oh, got 90. 90 degrees. 90 degrees in this room. <laughs> I feel like I'm in that office in Pizzeria Sim. Oh, man. Sheesh. I guess the one thing, we just can't have it hit 
120. Otherwise, it'll say passed out. Like the whole world will turn red and it just says passed out in text in front of you. Um, last thing, who's communicating with you with these objectives? Is this just a narrative function just put in by Steel Wool, like this is what you have to do? Or is there more to it? Could it be someone trying to communicate with you? Is it via the AR mask? You know, did we have those prompts beforehand? But I don't even know. Is someone trying to communicate with you? That's that's a, that's a good point. I think the counterpoint would be at the start of the game, check and see. So um, could be reading a little bit too much into it, but maybe there's something to it. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, we're done with chapter four, 90.3, 90.3. I was, it said 90.1 a second ago. Sheesh. <sighs> okay, we done. Chapter five next. Um, I'm, I gotta switch to recording in the mornings. Like it's not gonna be the work week at this point for the weekend. So I will switch to morning recording and hopefully it will be a lot cooler. All right, but hopefully this was a cooler video than the last or just as cool because hopefully all of them are cool. Even though I know the views are gonna go down per video, of course, because that's always what happens with these things. So anyway, I'm hoping that some of y'all will enjoy this series still and get a lot of info out of it and yeah. That's it. So thanks for watching, everyone. Peace. God bless you. Have a great day. 90.5. <laughs> All right, we done. Attention. This is Fred Barrett, Fast Command, reminding you that if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Do everything. It's complicated how YouTube makes things.